Thank you guys for tuning in on this video. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to build a level 2 duty rig for the SIG P220 and P226 with the Holosan PID light. And it's going to look like this right here. We have the SIG P220 with the Holosan. And uh, I'm going to show you the in and outs on how to make this rig. It is level 2 with the QLS fork which means you can separate it and have one platform with any holster. And of course the mechanical spets and you got that audible, actually there's a couple of them, clicks for uh, holstering and huh, actually unholstering as well. So again, SIG 220, Holosun PID light, not the plus, the regular PID on the 220 and 226. So stick around, stay for the ride and I'll show you how we assemble this bad boy. Let's do it. But before we get into it, the gun show was absolutely awesome. Again, if you saw the one where I lost power, which obviously that wasn't a popular video because it was boring. Um, Everything went great. It was almost four hours up in Maine. Uh, it was a small town, but a absolutely beautiful venue arena. It was absolutely gorgeous. And holy hell, did we, or did I, sell holsters. So I actually probably doubled what I normally do at a gun show, which was unheard of for that state, really, just because there's not a lot of people that attend them. Uh, but anyways, a uh, four-hour ride down. It was fun. We had power just before I left, so I was able to knock out a couple holsters, as you saw. And uh, behind me, right there, all that right there, I ended up doing about a dozen orders that I got at the show, along with some that I'm working on here just to get things moving. And it is going pretty well. So now that the power's on and everything's back to normal, except the fact that I lost 700 pounds of chicken. We raised chickens at our house, and we have meat birds, and we... Uh, processed over a hundred of them that weighed about seven eight pounds a piece we ate almost a hundred pounds and now uh we have to throw the rest out because our freezer thawed so it is what it is we gotta move on we got some more meat birds and uh i'm just gonna keep trucking away in the in the shop here and i have new stuff in the shop i'm not gonna show you just yet i'll keep you guessing but it's gonna make this channel a lot cooler and it's going to be able to allow me to do a lot cool, a lot more cool stuff. So let's build this. And let's get to town. First step we're going to do, drill the holes in the brand spank new mold. And uh, I did, it looks like it's going to work perfectly. I did mount the PID. This is a PID with the blue gun for the 220, 226. It's the same holster if you didn't know. And this is the PID, not the PID plus. The plus is a little bit longer, which I'm working on a mold uh for this but it's a completely different shape so it's kicking my butt and i'll show you what i'm doing later on but we're gonna go ahead build that level two but first because there's no holes you gotta drill them And this particular setup is mid-drop with QLS fork, receiver plate, and it's a level two. Get back in this, line this guy up. We know this is gonna sit right around here. Let's pull that there, lift up, pull that out of the way, pull that out of the way, and go straight down so we know we're gonna be 
be sitting right here. I always just go backwards like so. A little extra blocking won't hurt right there. Let's do that. Does have the ability to fall down a little bit, but we should be a okay now. Probably let's add that right there, and that'll help with our Safari Land T. Perfect that there put that there that holds the balance there pretty well now I need something to go under sitting flat here we want those holes exposed all right there we go. this is a thick guy so let's put this right around here and this needs to extend down what color is this this is black so we'll do that right there. All right, now we are ready. Now, uh, quick, easy, drill like normal. And these are uh, 730 seconds. Let's pop these ones out real quick. Actually, these are gonna be the only ones that are 730 seconds. And this is uh, 0.093 Kydex, not 0.08. So for this, we're gonna knock these holes out. Pretty much uh, consider these the pilot holes. And then we'll switch over for a quarter inch. And with our deburring tool, that's clean now, go ahead and get those burrs out. And it also gives you a little chamfer which makes the job easier and cleaner. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, cut out the circumference, add the gusset, fold it, and cut it again.
All right, so again, this is 0 0.093, and this is 0 0.093. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find a sufficient spot to put this. There we go, do that right there. And what you're gonna do is just gonna hold it in place and put a dot in the center. There we go, dot in the center of each one. And then drill it. All right, so I did a uh, tiny pilot hole and went ahead and drilled it with the quarter inch as well. So now we're just gonna cut it out to a shape that is that fits, that looks good, and uh, cut it out, sand it, and then go ahead and attach it with eyelets right there. And that gives you super strong um, holster right there. Because actually, if you look at Safari Land, they are folded over itself, so it's dual layers. So that'll give us strength, just like they have it. And there we are right there. I'm just gonna line it up, and I'll just throw it in with the eyelets real quick, real plain, real simple, real boring. And here we are right here, and as you can tell, I cut part of the U-channel out. Reason being is because that hump up won't allow you to do a good fold on the sight channel, and it will ruin your beautiful masterpiece that you're working on. So, so we're gonna check the fit there. This is a brand new mold, so this is either gonna work perfectly, or I'm gonna have to redo it. So uh, this is a good testing point right here. We got retention point, retention point, retention point. And as you can see, there's a lot of retention points on these, and especially the PL Plus, which is um, pretty much the same, just longer. So line the backs up there, but it's square at the bottom, and they don't make molds for this yet. So I have an order for four holsters for this, and uh, so I have a new toy that's gonna help me out, and hopefully it doesn't take too long to learn. But let's let's fold this. I just got to tell it how I want it. Okay, and then the back here. I actually don't know if this is optic cut or not. Uh, our marker, it is. All right, but we're at the chamber anyway, so we're good. And we want to be probably right around there. And let's see. That looks good right there. And we'll cut that right there and see how that looks. Yep. We have to come down and go this way a little bit, but go ahead and cut it and then we'll test fit as we're cutting.
Well, first thing I'm going to do is just give it a quick rub down. That gets any pencil mark, debris, crap, anything that's not supposed to be on there. Dust, sanding, anything. All right. All right, I'm just going to put these in so we can do the retention. And there's a little trick you can do to figure out what bushings you need for retention. And I'll show you that trick once these are in. Because with having fat hands, you cannot get this stuff in without, like, long tweezers and stuff. All right, going to take your mold, put it in there. All right, see, quarter inch, I feel like would be perfect. So let's grab quarter inch and see how that works. And this doesn't work, we'll bump it up to three eighths. So let's see here. This might be a little tight, but this is the first one, so we'll check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guy, wicked tight. Well, that's what I usually do is I'll put the mold in and see how the retention is or how big that gap is and go from there. But like I said earlier, very first time using this mold. Definitely can use a little tightening up. It's interesting why they put the retention right here. You would think that just behind here is enough. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to heat this up and remove it. Like It works, but not to my liking. Alright, so what I did is you can see how it's dull right here. Uh, what it does is it dries out the oil, and then you can tell where all your heat is being um, focused. So I heat this up with the heat gun, in and out a little bit. I heated this side up, in and out a little bit, and now, much better. And one thing you also got to remember is when you're drawing your firearm, you're not going super slow. Okay? You're going slow in, but when you're drawing, you're pulling out. So, I like it where it sits. So, what I'm probably going to do is fill those in just a little bit so they're a little bit indented. That way, I don't have to keep doing um, the heat up, heat up gig. But for now, I like that. So, it came out pretty good. Uh, so, now we can continue with the rest. All right, time to assemble. Let's get everything we need out. Here, bing, bing, bing. Those. These are going over here. All right. Need a little bit of our blue juice right here. Get this going. Get those three on here. And you got to remember with the Spetz gear, 
you have to do it hand tight. You can't, well, you can't creep on them. You can't crank them because what will happen is it binds up the internals and then it just doesn't move on you. So if you notice, no wugga duggas, and then I'll just make sure it's snug. And then a function check, which is good. All right, fold that over. We're gonna have this right here. Drill that with your same size hole you did for retention, which is 7 16ths, I think it was. Clean the outside and the inside. Let's see what we have. We have to shave down a little bit. What I did is I shaved down a little bit of the post. So you can see I did quite a bit right there. And the reason being, if you don't shave it down, your hood's gonna like, let's see, stick out like that and you're gonna have that gap. I don't like that gap. So by shaving it down, I have it flush with the material. And now there's no gap, but you can't have it too far down to where you're not getting the articulation. So now, let's switch to our hex head. And get these going. And straighten that up. We got to attach this. Grab the nuts. Don't tighten it all up until you get all of them in. <laughs> My bit came off on that one. Square that up. All right. And here is a level two drop for, wow, the six hour P220 and P226 with the o, uh, o light, wow, with the Holoson PID. And this is level two. Oh, that is. I like it. And we made it to another ending of a beautiful video. This holster came out absolutely awesome. It is heading over 3,000 miles away to Riverside, California from here in New Hampshire. So this is going to go on a little bit of a journey, which is awesome. Thank you guys for making it this far. And a huge shout out to Holstersmith and KnifeGates.com. Everything you see that I use in these videos is from them, can be purchased from them. Tell them I sent you. And uh, I'm going to be spending this day moving on to the next one. I got a few orders that I'd like to get out. I got some gun show builds to catch up on as well, which is uh, working pretty well. And uh, learning some new toys that I have in the shop, which is going to be a video for another day. But on that note, I got a lot of work to do. Oh, I have a lot of work to do, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.